Welcome to the sixth and final part of this video series on shortwave radio for beginners. In the last five parts of the series, we have already covered everything that you need to know as a beginner. Now, I give you some advice about the best practices. Let's start. Purchasing the right equipment. We have already covered this topic in part 3. If you have not seen this video, watch it now. I have two important tips for you. First, do not spend too much money, for the first time, on a radio receiver. A cheaper receiver can help you entering this new world, later, you can upgrade anytime. And the second tip, do not buy or build, any additional antenna, like a loop antenna, it is not necessary. A single metal wire, about 5 to 15 meters, or 15 to 45 feet, is a perfect antenna, connected to your telescopic antenna, with a crocodile clip. More important for you, is noise reduction. We talk about it later. Get familiar with the shortwave bands, and how they work. We have already covered this topic, in part 4. If you have not seen this video, watch it now. Make sure, that you understand, what you can listen to, on which frequencies can you listen, and so on. This will help you, have a successful start, and a good reception. Reduce noise. This is going to be, one of your most important tasks, as in a modern environment, we are surrounded with a lot of electronic devices. My advice here. Place your wire antenna, outside the building, and away from any source of electricity, like a Wi-Fi router, light bulbs, or any electrical devices, like smartphones and laptops. If possible, turn off all electrical devices next to your device and antenna, Always use your receiver from a battery, as the AC-DC adapter, may create a huge noise, and disturb your reception. Also, do not forget to recharge your batteries. Use schedules. We have already covered this topic, in part 1. If you have not seen this video, watch it now. You can find such schedules online. These can also help you finding broadcast stations, and number stations. Be patient. Shortwave radio listening is very much depending on your physical environment. Weather conditions, solar activities, and the electrical devices in your environment, can have a negative effect on the quality of the reception. On some days, you will only hear a lot of noise, on other days, you may receive a lot of stations in a very good quality. I usually start listening, by tuning the Shannon Volmet weather station. This is my benchmark. If I do not hear anything on 5504 USB, I probably do not have a good reception at all. This is absolutely no problem, you can try a bit later, or the next day. Make sure, that you reduce environmental noise, as much as possible, the rest will come. And finally, have fun. Shortwave radio listening, is not only about what you actually listen to, but rather, about the listening and exploration itself. Create your own ham shack, turn off the lights, have a good drink and tune the radio. Wintertime is a very good season for radio listening, prepare yourself during the summer and autumn. The beginner series is now complete, but shortwave radio listening, goes on, also on this channel. You can also contribute, to more, and better content, for shortwave radio, by asking questions in the comment section, for the upcoming Q&A videos. You may also be interested, on other videos on this channel about our adventures, and travel vlogs, from all around the world. New content, is available every Tuesday on this channel. See you next time. Comment below and thanks for watching.